I have this page set up and it has um, two divs. One has some text in it and the second has an image in it. I've got some little styles applied just so you can see where the edges of all the elements are. Um, I've turned them colors so you can see them and here's kind of what it looks like right now. So here's my first div up top and my second div in the bottom. Um, and one thing we often like to do is get divs sitting next to each other. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's make this guy's width 50% and I'm going to make the one on the left float left and let's make the one on the right float right and let's see what that looks like alright so they're sitting next to each other um, now something I'm not really fond of is how close to the edge of the divs the text and the picture are coming, so perhaps I'd like to add some padding to these guys. So let's go in here and add a padding of 2%. Alright, and when I do that, oh no, now I've messed with the box model and I've introduced more um, pixels to the, the area I'm taking up because by default, when I specify width, it's really applying just to the content. If I stick padding, or if I stick borders on there, in fact, let me put a border on so we can see this too. Let's put a border of five pixels. That's solid. And let's see, pink. Let's see. So if I put on padding and borders, that takes up even more room on the screen, which means my 50% um, didn't account for that stuff and isn't actually half of the page. Um, but there is a trick that makes it actually count all that stuff in its dimension, and it's to change the box sizing property. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, okay, for all elements on the page, and that's what the star selects, I want to change this property called box sizing. Um, by default, it's content box, and so my width talks about the content box. I'm going to make it border box, and then my 50% when I specify it is going to represent the entire um, part of the box model except for the margin. Um, so technically, if I've done this, this 50% should take into account this border, should take into account this padding, and just shrink my content accordingly so that it actually does take up 50%. Let's see if it worked. Yeah, now they're sitting next to each other again. Okay, so it makes your calculations a little bit easier. Now, margin's still going to cause me uh, to have to configure and think about it. So, say I want to um, put a, an actual gap between these two guys. So, let's make the margin right of the left panel oops, um, 2%. That means that these guys each have to give up 1% to make room for it. So, let's make each of these guys 49% and we should get a nice gap. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that is what box sizing does. It lets you have to not worry about padding, not have to worry about borders when you're setting widths on items on your page.